man, indeed, the bulldog. Just look at Percy this morning. Doesn't that just intimidate you? But so basically, we are talking about the bulldog this morning. They are literally cousins of uh, Bob and Bella. And we have David with us, a breeder. He's been breeding for about 20 years now to tell us a little bit more about this fascinating breed. David, thank you so much for coming in this morning and bringing Percy. Oh, my word. Look at this dog. I must be honest. When I walked up, with, up to him the first, first time this morning, I was a little bit intimidated. I won't lie. <laughs> yeah, I was. I'm I was. It's well, scary. Thanks for inviting me. You're, uh, <laughs> that's the idea. They look intimidating, but they're not. And if they're very docile dogs. Really? Yes. They are docile dogs. Okay. But so, they can be aggressive if, if need be. They can be aggressive. Let's, let's go not back in dog. history a little bit. I mean, oh, but he's too cute. What were they bred for initially? Where does the name Bulldog actually comes from? Well, like they, Cambridge initially, initially they were um, fighting dogs with the, when the ancient Britons attacked the Romans. They had a, a fighting, big dogs fighting. The oh, really? Romans took them back and used them as gladiators, and eventually they, yeah. they bred them down to fight. In it started in 1209, yeah. uh, when Lord Warren was um, standing in the castle ramparts in in UK, and he saw the butchers chasing the bulls down the street, and all these oh, dogs were chasing them. Really? Thought, you thought it was that exciting? Bulls? Bulls, yeah. And they, and they said, that looks exciting. <laughs> we should make, make a game of this. And this, this uh, Lord Warren opened up the, uh, his field for it. And from then on, bullfighting became the in sport for 600 years. These dogs were actually able to take down bulls. Yeah. They, as you see, they were man-made in some respects, with a short muzzle. Yeah. It's done for a purpose, lay back far, that far, the end of the jaw. So when it attack the bull. From the bottom, obviously. Yep, yeah, it'd go there and take the bull in the nose. And any blood and that would run down the furrows out. Oh, my word. And so the jaw's under shot, so it gripped. Yeah. And the reason they, they made this design is broad shoulders, narrow hips. Yeah. The bull would shake, of course. Oh, of course, yes. And if a big thing, it would break. And this is wobbled around and chest yeah. kept the weight there. But it's and the dog survived. Well, dog, most dogs survived. Most dogs survived. But I mean, look at I, I've actually never seen a dog with shoulders like this. It's got a proper V shape. Yeah. So you say they're quite docile dogs, but they can be aggressive. Oh, yes. Any, any, any dog can be aggressive. Yeah. Like, even a chihuahua. Yeah. <laughs> but I've also heard that they are not, they, 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 despite their appearance, these dogs are actually very quick. And they're very quick. Very quick over a short distance. Really? Yes. Yeah. As I say, they're the. They say the fastest dog over 10 meters, so, you know. Yeah. <laughs> fastest dogs over 10 meters. So you've been breeding for about uh, over 20 years. You don't over do it 20. anymore. What, why, did you, why did you do it for so long? What is it about the bulldog that you love? Their personality, they're, uh, they're very affectionate dogs. Yeah. And they get on well with everybody. And, you know, the children, yeah. grandkids. They, oh, really? They, they, they all love them. No, I, I just... You get attached to these sort of breeds. Oh, and I'm sure they get attached to you as well. I can see Percy. Just quick, um, Percy's got a very, a very interesting name, a registered name. Yeah, yes, his name is Ch Champion Breakspears uh, Bone Bandit. Champion Breakspears Bone, Bone Bandit. Bandits. That's, <laughs> that's incredible. In terms of the grooming needs and taking care of them, are there a lot of work? Do they have health conditions that you need to be aware of if you want to consider, or if you're considering getting a bulldog? Yes, you, you, they have got uh, problems. It looks, the grooming is yeah. easy. It's a good brush and a bath, and you keep all the wrinkles clean, keep the eyes checked out. Yeah. The health problems with the bulldog is in a very hot weather, because of the okay. short muzzle, they have yeah. a, a breathing problem sometimes. They can all get right. very excited, and that can cause problems. Can they overheat because of that? Yes, they can. Yeah. So you've got to be very careful with the bulldog in a very hot weather. Yeah. Keep them cool, lots of hot, cool water in the shade. Yeah. And, um, yeah. They do, and get, I mean, they do get a few eye problems sometimes. All right, but as long as you keep them clean and, 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 and neater, then they would be fine. Quickly, just before we wrap up, this is a proper English bulldog. Proper English bulldog. You get other type of breeds, other bulldogs as well. Like, I mean, obviously, we have our French bulldogs, the Bob French and Bella. French bulldog, yes, yeah. yes. But they were developed from the bulldog, I think, originally. Yes, and what about the American bulldog? <sighs> or I've only seen a few of those in this country at the moment. I haven't. Is it? 
But because they look, they look completely different than, completely than different, the actual. Yeah. I think they look like a cross between a bull terrier and a bulldog, maybe more a bulldog, and maybe yeah. a, you know a little bit more than a pit bull. Mm. Um, David, thank you so much for coming in and bringing Percy. I mean, what a magnificent dog! If you are the owner of a proper English bulldog, we would love to see those photos. Post them on our Facebook page, mm. Expresso Morning Show SABC Three. David, thank you so much. You're welcome. You can you can go and have a thank nice you. little relaxing Wednesday on us. There we go. Thank, thank you so much, Percy. You are a star. We're going to take a quick break. We'll see you just now. I've got some other good, beautiful photographs. Catlejo's got nothing on Bob. Bobtail, SA's most loved dog food for strong South African dogs. Show.